Boom shakalaka, what's up homies? My name's D-Nice, and tonight we're doing Wanna Be Caster. This series is where I try my best to be a caster or a shoutcaster for play-by-play -play and reactions, because I got the webcam right here of my face. And hopefully I get some pretty decent reactions for this game. The reason I pick this game is because there are plenty of pro players in this game, so I think it'll be rather enjoyable in terms of skill. Now, how many pro players are in this game, you may ask? Let me go down the list for you. We got F-Zero, AKA Immortals Wild Turtle. And then we have what I am going to call for this game, the unknown player spotlight, 717J. The interesting thing about this guy, he's duoed with Bjergsen. He also has a 62% win rate in Masters right now and an 83% win ratio in Italy. That is ridiculous. So I'm guessing this guy is probably Sven Skaren if he's duo to Bjergsen. I'm not sure because I didn't receive a confirmation on who this person actually is and that is going to have to wait now because we have a Lee Sin going bottom lane. He is camping in the brush. Oh, here he comes. He's got double buffs. Safeguards in, gets the flash out of Jin. This Blitzcrank unfortunately misses the pull and I missed whatever happened to Ari here. It looks like she died by the red buff though. Judging by where she was and judging by how much mana Sindra and how far back Sindra was, but I'm guessing Ari died by the red buff. Okay. And going down the list of other pro players here, this Sindra that looks like she was just dancing on a summoner platform is the Bjerger King himself, Bjergsen. And I don't know who Nami is, <laughs> but what we got here is, I'm sure you guys already know Dignitas Apollo, but let's go down the red squad, the red squad. We got Sneaky Gasm. Wait, is, okay. Nidalee's not gonna go for the top lane dive. I was about to say, is this LCS guys? Sneaky Gasm, and then under him, the Ari is Dignitas Shifter, who is getting stunned. Oh, that trade. Mmm, that looked painful. And then we have Sir Link. I don't know if this is actually CLG Link. I highly doubt it, but I didn't receive confirmation on this either. So those are the pro players that are in this game. Mmm. Lee Sin having fun with the scuttle crab. Ugh. Blah. Oh, Bruce Lee kick, Bruce Lee punch. And it looks like Bjergsen is going to get ganked by the world here while he's going for the trade. Well. Oh, so close to a kill, but Bjergsen's gonna pay for it. Um, camera, please? There we go. Nidalee got the spear on Blitzcrank, but it looks like uh, Nidalee's going to uh, think better of going in on that Blitzcrank. Oh, Lee Sin? Having a little fun with the safeguard mechanics? <laughs> uh, Shifter, I don't know if you would want to be here right now. <laughs> Miss Nidalee lands one spear on you. You're kaput. Your whole life. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's a really good chunk. I'm um, assuming, wow, Lee Sin's actually not gonna recall. And the funny part about that is, is Nidalee's going for an invade. Uh, Lee Sin, you have flash, are you gonna, <laughs> damn. I, th I think Nidalee would take, oh, huh? so hello, Blitzcrank. All right, Nidalee's got the Nami E into deadly Fur flourish <laughs> into pounce into death. <laughs> And Nidalee will take the Gromp, and I'm sure she will gladly accept that. So Nidalee, at six minutes, already has two kills. What is going on in this top lane? Top lane's pretty even right now. But Bjergsen is up 14 CS right now against Shifter. 
which I expected pretty much. That's what I expected to happen for the most part. Now, nothing is going on right now, but fun facts. So Sneaky is struggling right now in solo queue to say the least. In solo queue for the past 20 games, he's won seven of them and he's lost 13. So that is a 35% win ratio. And the champion that he has the highest, well, the second highest for him, Apollo has it, which is his Jin, which Sneaky has a 60% win ratio on of 270 games played, which is a lot. And it's kind of ironic how that works because Korean teams, when they played against Cloud9, they just banned Jin away from him. So he pretty much, I think he only got to play it one game in, at Worlds when he played against the, uh, who did they play? I actually forgot who they played in that matchup. Dang, I am very sad about that. Here we go, Ash Arrow. Going for the break. Oh! Into the charm. Dick. Wow. They really hate Bjergs in this game. <laughs> Damn. That was a nice Ash Arrow. Or Enchanted Mystic Arrow, I believe they call it. By Sneaky. Is it called that? Encha oh, Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Yes. Okay. Wait, no, I think I said Mystic. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is what it's called. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, okay. Shifter dodges the spear. Okay, Wild Turtle's going ham with the flash and the flame spear. And here comes Rohammers. He's like, back away from Shifter now. That's my buddy, man. Stay away from my buddy. We ain't having none of that. What is this? What are they, what is the, what is the goal here? Oh, he landed the spear. And shifter, sir, you have been erased from this world. Uh, I'm sure Wild Turtle has done better equalizers than that before, but I'm questioning. Oh, they're going for the dive. Oh, well. That worked out very well for Wild Turtle and Mr. Unknown Spotlight in Italy. <laughs> I mean, Bjergsen came up there for like moral support. Like he's just sitting there and he's like, ah, I'll, I helped you guys in spirit. It's okay. It's okay. So Shifter is semi feeding in this game. How's the bot lane going actually? Bot lane's even for the most part yeah bottom lane is pretty even all right so we have nami going to ward lee sin oh is lee sin going for a gank what is he oh he misses the sonic wave okay he's gonna get the blue buff over to shifter nice jungle things that's not something you see much in solo queue, but I guess in higher level solo queue, they... Um, I don't know if that was a nice juke by Nami or Blitzcrank just... Oh boy, we gotta get this, we gotta get this, we gotta get this. Here we go. Another gank on Bjergsen. Into the, into the kick. Nah, Bjergsen's gonna live. That was a nice flash. But here comes... Ooh! <laughs> Bjergsen the focus Okay, Nidalee dodges the charm and gets out safely if he got hit by that charm He was probably going to die now. What's gonna okay. Oh my gosh that damage Woo! That is a fat ass Nidalee, but meanwhile in the bottom lane We have mr. Apollo pushing the bottom lane Sneaky, you better be careful, man. Ooh. You don't want to mess with that right now, Sneaky. There's three people bottom, and you have no reinforcements at all. <laughs> Bjergsen is being focused extremely heavily this game, but it's... It doesn't even... Oh, God, Sneaky, no. Sneaky, you... Okay. 
Lee Sin gets hit by the spear and then gets deleted <laughs> by Nidalee. <laughs> yeah, Nidalee's pretty fed right now. Um, Apollo got bottom lane tower. And right now we have Nidalee just going on rampages, diving towers. <laughs> Nidalee unstoppable. Yo, my camera work needs some work, definitely, for sure. And Blitzcrank! Um, well, what this equates to, guys, is a 7,000 gold lead at 12 minutes. Uh, Leeson, I don't know if you want to be there right now. I really don't. If you get hit by a spear, you're probably gonna... Oh, boy. Okay, he dodges a spear, but then... Oh, the flash! But you're probably still not... No, you're not even gonna kill her. I'm not gonna kill her. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad. All right. So, even though Sneaky's 101, his team is down by an astronomical amount of gold right now. Top lane, it is only a matter of time before this lane ends as well, considering how Wild Turtle got three kills from the Nidalee ganks and everything else that's been going on in the game. 5-0 Nidalee. Are they ganking Bjergsen again? I think they're trying to. Look at look at this. This is cute. You're standing on a ward, buddy. You're standing on a ward. There we go. Clear the ward. You're not ganking Bjergsen today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> All right, so oh no, oh no, Bjergsen. He has Ghost, so he should be. Oh, that was close, and here come the Nidalee. Can he get another stun? Here comes the Jin with the slow. Yeah, sneaky. You're. Oh, oh, oh. The power, the power. I'm surprised they haven't taken Dragon yet. This is a stomp if I've ever seen one. And while that was all going on, I don't know what happened top lane, but uh, Mr. Super Galaxy Rumble got another kill and now he's teleporting mid lane to get tier two. Damn. This is rough life. Okay, he's got the, oh yeah. Ah! The spear, the spears just do so much damage. Here comes the spear. No! Ah! Ah! My word! It's just... It's too much damage. The spears basically do three quarters of anybody's HP in this game. Meanwhile, what is going on up Okay, uh... Uh, we just have everybody just dying on the red team right now. Uh, I think Wild Turtle's feeling him some, some sneaky right now. I don't think Sneaky's feel Oh, well. Oh, Deadly Flourish into Equal. <laughs> How can I even play by play this? They're dying so fast. <laughs> a, a flash bolt. Pure, poor Bjerks in this game. Goodbye, Pounce. This would be a surrender at 20 if this wasn't a 15 minute game. These guys are dying so fast that I can't even attempt to play by play. And this dragon, this has to be, how do you get rid of Fog of War? F? Okay, this has to be the luckiest dragon of all time. Like, nobody has gotten a dragon this game. So this dragon has had 16 minutes. Well, not 16 minutes, but this is basically from the time he spawned till now to sit here and sleep. And you know this game <laughs> is a stomp if I have time to talk about the dragon not being killed. <laughs> All right, are they gonna actually gonna kill it now? Are they actually gonna kill it now? That'd be pretty funny. I, I would actually feel pretty, oh no. Wild Turtle is feeling him. He's feeling him some sneaky. Um, Lee Sin, Deadly Flourish into Curtain Call. Boom. But, oh. Uh, Oh, come on, Apollo. Oh, what is that? Oh, nice Sonic wave, bruh. But um, the cavalry Nidalee has arrived and she's ready to pounce. 
Don't get hit by that spear. You just might die. You you might just get one shotted. Sneaky, sneaky no, sneaky no. <laughs> oh, are you? Whoa, it's Nidalee. It's Nidalee gives no. Um, there's just so much deletion in this game. I can't even say what's happening to them besides they're getting hit. They're getting hit by the power of Bjergsen's ult. Deadly Flourish pounces the CC train into deletion. 11, no, Nidalee, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, Scout of the Week, Proto Belt, Deadly Flourish. Oh, the game is over. Lee Sin, you are one lucky man. You live to see another day, even though you're blind. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yo, oh, well, I actually wasn't paying attention to Nidalee's item build for that game, but 24 stacks Magi's, Proto Belt, Sheen, what it, um, what is this, Runic Echoes? I believe that's what it's called, Runic Echoes. Well, guys, that happened, 16,000 gold lead. And, well, it's more like 15,000 point, 15 point two thousand, if you wanna be exact. And 27 to six and kill. <laughs> well, that was a rather enjoyable game to watch. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was actually pretty fun, I'm actually, I'm honestly trying to cast another game and hopefully get a game where I can say what's happening before they actually get deleted, but they were just dying so fast it was kind of hard. <laughs> it was just like people are disappearing off the map right now. <laughs> All right, guys, if you liked the video, make sure to slap that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.